Hello, Aki. Pastor Keith here, and it is Monday, July 4th. July 4th. Ah, isn't that a holiday? It is also the feast day or the commemoration day of St. Thomas. You know, Doubting Thomas. Normally it's on July 3rd, but that's a Sunday, so we move it back a day. It falls on Monday, July 4th. So a reading from John 14, one that I often use at funerals and other solemn occasions. Jesus says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. The Gospel of the Lord. Doubt is not the opposite of faith. That needs to be said here. Doubt is the flip side of of the coin of faith. Doubt is how faith grows because it struggles to see God behind images, idols, and definitions. It struggles to see the immense, abstract, ever-present God in the specific and the particular, which is why Jesus say, says, if you know me, you know the Father the great big father, God, mother. And so the abstract comes in the particular and the immortal comes in the mortal so that we can actually see and know God and know that God is love. No doubt about that. E pule, Kako, let us pray. Ever-living God, you strengthened your apostle Thomas with firm and certain faith in the resurrection of your Son. Grant that we too may confess our faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, so that there may be faith, hope, and love. Amen.